Hey, what's going on, y'all? So it's your boy Blue Falcon coming to you with another review, a product review video. So this time, the product that we are testing is none other than the PS5 Dual Sense controller. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I have a very loyal um, fan who was asking me. Are there any good controllers out there for the PC? Now, if you know me, I've been using the PS4 controller for quite some time via the PC, for the PC, I should say. Um, but for this video, because he was asking me if, if there's another one outside of the PS4 controller, I was just like, you know what? How about I get the DualSense, right? Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect it to your PC. I'm going to explain the functionality of the controller, the specs for the controller, um, how to connect it to your PC, um, how to play Steam, as well as Epic Games. Um, and yeah, so if you like videos like this, please like, subscribe, comment down below because it definitely helps the channel out a lot. But stay tuned because we're definitely going to get right into it. As anybody know, if you've been watching this channel, you know that I've been using a PS4 controller. Um, obviously, placing um, the Dual Shock 4 controller is originally intended for the PlayStation 4. However, it is a Bluetooth controller, so you are allowed to play it um, on your PC via Bluetooth. I believe you can also hook it up USB. Um, but I've been playing it um, via the Bluetooth. Now, what I decided to do, I decided to get, let me just show you right here. I decided to get the Red Dual Sense PlayStation 5 controller. And let me just say that it is awesome. So, just so that you can see it again, um, it is extremely good, you guys. Like, I really have no complaints for it at all. Um, the analog buttons, um, they feel pretty good to the hand. Um, the build quality as a whole, it just seems very premium. So, and it better be. I mean, after all, I think it was, I believe it's running for about like $70. And that's excluding the tax. So it definitely feels very premium. Um, the face buttons, they seem pretty good. I mean, if you can hear it, it got some click to it, um, but it's nothing too obtru obtru obtrusive, excuse me. It's nothing too obtrusive while playing. You know, it's not like it's making a whole bunch of noise or anything of that sort. Connecting it, which I will show you later on in this video, it's fairly simple um so that's awesome um it does it, you don't have to get it in this color right for those of you who care about the aesthetics obviously the original playstation 5 um dual sense controller is white um they they do come in purple i got the red i think there's an all black one which is pretty cool too so there's a very there's a different um colors so that's great um I do I will say I'm a big fighting game um, player so if anybody plays fighting games you know that I'm not big on using the analog when playing fighting games um, so although the analog will do the trick it is very responsive and it's very it feels great to the hands I will say the real plus is the directional pad the d-pad and you guys it, it feels great it feels absolutely great um, that's actually one of the biggest selling points I think for me personally um, um, for PlayStation controllers as a whole I always felt like um, I'm not knocking Nintendo with their Switch Pro controller um, it's okay they seem to have followed the same um, how would I call it they seem to have followed the same design ergonomically as the xbox controller um but i never really liked that design for fighting games i will say this though it's not if i do have a con 
it would be that this controller here, um, as good as it is, I actually do believe that the PS4 controller felt a little bit better. This this one, you know, I felt like they were going for something new, which I can't knock them for. It still feels great, but I do feel like ergonomically, the PS4 controller was just a tad bit better. With that being said, um, I believe they have like this adaptive trigger thing, which the PS4 controller does not have. Um, it also has um, a whole bunch of features. Um, if anything, let me actually show you guys real quick. I'm going to share my screen with you all. All right, so bear with me, guys. All right, so I'm doing this on the spot, um, but you you can kind of see it here. The dual sense controller specs, just so that you can kind of see along with me. But yeah, it has the haptic feedback, adaptive triggers. Um, the battery of life is fairly good. Is um, again, it has the built-in microphone. Um, it says backward compatibility. I don't, I don't know what they mean by that. I'm assuming that you could potentially play it with a PS4. Um, so if that's the case, that would be awesome. Um, so yeah, you can you can check this out. I'll probably leave the link to, um, to this. This is from PocketLint.com. Um, so I'll leave the link down below so you could go in greater detail but one thing I actually do want to show you even though more so you guys would have to be the actual connectivity of it alright so hopefully this works out as I hope it does so again I'm gonna share my screen and it's fairly simple so if you go to the start button you press devices and you go to Bluetooth. You can kind of see it here. It just says that I'm already paired. Um, but from here, all I do, and you can kind of see it on the bottom right, using configs from Blue Falcon, right? I'm already paired up. <laughs> it's literally that simple, guys. Uh, right? All I did was press the PS button provided that you already had connected it via Bluetooth um, and then it disconnects if you are trying to connect it for the first time what I did was simply hold this button over here um, let me see if I can find it if it kind of there you go I held this button down and then I held the PS button so I held this button down first then I held down the PS button hold it until you start seeing it flicker and that means it's in pairing mode all right, and then other than that, I just logged in. Now, to kind of show you guys something. So, I'm going to open up Steam. All right. So, if you open up Steam, and, and let me see. I'm going to press the PS button, and let's see what happens. Right. So that proves to you that it's working, all right? Because the moment you t press the PS button while Steam is open, it goes into big picture mode. If you go to the actual controller settings, you can see that it's registered PlayStation 5, right? So there you go. Now, let me actually show you guys some actual gameplay of it. Um, let me see my library um, by the way while we're waiting if you like um, content like this please like subscribe drop a comment down below because it definitely does help the channel um, and I definitely would appreciate it So, and let me just make sure because I know the, the video game 
the video game volume could tend to be rather loud so let me just put it down just a bit so we c um just bear in mind also guys that uh, let me pause it real quick just bear in mind you guys that whenever you are playing right um with a ps5 controller just bear in mind that when you're using it on the pc it registers as a pc controller or it will show you the xbox controller all right so don't worry about it it works just as well But I just want to quickly show you just how it actually works out. lost that one but anyway um that's pretty much it um let me see what else can i show you guys i just want to show you a quick one for that let me close that um but yeah it works it works just as fine it works really well actually um i'm trying to see what else will i like to show you um i do want to show you one thing all right so let me close this out and just show you guys something real quick so it, just in case you guys are wondering how it works with epic games right because sometimes epic games um there is no option for you to connect your controller per se unless you have an actual dedicated pc controller um so one thing you have to just bear in mind is that if you go to library um let me actually exit out big picture mode so pardon me let me exit big picture mode all right so if you just go here where it says add game go to where it says add a non steam game okay from there you would simply go down now i think because i've done it already it will not show up but for you you should see right here it should say epic games and i've added it already and that's why you see it here if you open up epic games through steam okay that's the key you have to open it through steam if you do that and just make sure if you go into your tray all right that epic games was not opened up prior if it is opened up close it first and make sure you open epic games through steam okay you guys from there now let's see if we can play um games on epic games with the ps5 controller and i've tried it before and now you'll know it works because on the you'll see the steam overlay on your steam on your epic games excuse me so that's how you would know that steam is actually the one that's conducting it and running this all right you guys and you can kind of see it for yourselves it is indeed working um let me actually show something real quick only because it's better to actually show this via game capture mode right there you go so I'll take off display capture and you can kind of see it <laughs> right it's working absolutely awesome all right so Right. You can kinda see it, you can see me. Right. As I press. Right. There you go. And there you have you guys. Um 
once again, do I recommend the PS5 controller or DualSense controller? Absolutely. It's it works extremely well. Um, let me just turn off this Sifu in the background. Uh, it works absolutely well. I have no complaints with it. Um, now, again, there there were times where, with that being said, you guys, if you like this video, if you found any value in the information that I had to share, please like, subscribe, comment down below. It does help the video out. Uh, it does help the channel out a lot. Um, and also, I just would like to um, just communicate with you guys even the more so. With that being said, Blue Falcon over and out. Game to win. Game hard.